So we're out hunting for moose. Uh, what date is it today? It's 26, 27, something like that. We're up by McBride, BC. Uh, down in the bottom of that valley somewhere is the Roche River, I believe it's called. Um, just came in last night, got set up. The rest of the boys are out touring, uh, looking for some moose. Um, not looking too hopeful. First time we've been in this area, but it's kind of a tight valley, so we'll see what first indications are. Um, so I'm looking after the important stuff here. Getting some firewood cut. Uh, I mean, I can't camp uh, without a good supply of firewood, so had the Husqvarna fired up this morning here and got the trailer loaded up. And just in the process of splitting all this up, it's a good workout. So we'll see how she goes. Beautiful day anyways. Uh, if nothing else, beats working. Okay, so I was chopping away and I started thinking, um, well actually I started thinking that a beer would be pretty good. So, got out a uh, can of Lucky. Now, the only people that drink Lucky in any quantity are loggers from Vancouver Island. Um, so I figured, well, you know, we're out here, cutting firewood, loggers beer, why not? Um, I put it beside that can of gas, kind of for a taste comparison. Uh, they taste about the same. Gas has a little less aftertaste, maybe. So yeah, the other thing I was thinking about too, there was a... Uh, Guy had posted on YouTube a video about some $200 uh, Swedish yuppie axe he bought at Ikea or something. So I thought I'd just detail our axe here. It's a uh, grad sale axe head, piece of Schedule 8 uh, plumber's pipe, and a big washer welded on the end there for a grip. Um, total investment's probably $5. So then that would allow you uh, to take your $195 left over and, um, I don't know, buy some more Lucky or whatever yuppies drink, I guess, Pinot Noir maybe, in case of Pinot Noir. Anyhow, i got to finish my beer and then keep chopping. Okay, so I got all that uh, firewood split up and uh, apparently we're busy burning it here faster than I can split it. but. Got a few more blocks out in the bush there if it comes to that. Um, let's go down here. That lucky beer wasn't cutting it anymore, so I had to switch to a, a more proven product. Um, it's a new quad I bought. Uh, for some reason, I thought that uh, the one I had didn't have enough power. So I always heard these. Uh, 750 Kawasaki's uh, brute forces had a lot of power. So I bought this one. Um, I put 27 inch tires on it. And it's only the second time I've had it out. First time I thought, yeah, kind of robbed the power a bit, those tires. So last night I thought, well, I may as well get into the throttle. And uh, next thing you know, I was doing a wheel stand down this road out of control. So. Fortunately, I remembered to uh, back off the throttle just before I hit the truck. Um, long story short, I think there's probably more quads or quads out there with more power, but uh, I don't think I want to know about them.